I've got a new age girl Tell us what she's like Environmentalist girl Does she ride a bike? She has a crystal necklace She spends a lot of cash Well, her vibes are rather In off of yeah, six Scott still Briggs on the phone calling her lawyers because we got kicked off of with the Houston set I Find sure out will. if failure to obey is a good enough cause to go to jail I don't think so Anyway, no, we're down here in uh, most of Scottsdale oh, okay. is shopping for um, well, that's, that's rough. A lot of rich people live here in Phoenix, and some of you already know that. Oh, no. So we're just going to wander down here, look around stuff, and we're going to hop over oh. to the um, Scorpions uh, baseball park. But right now, I'm let's sorry, go to uh, an interview with Dave Stewart, who used to be formerly of the Arrhythmics. And yeah, oh, also a new sure. yeah. video, and also a new video from out. Dave Stewart called Jealousy. So, three things to do in the next 15 minutes, and we'll be back. Okay. And we're going to see if we can track down Michael Jordan. Okay? Okay, it's our video. We'll be back. You got a pen? No, I don't. You have a pen in that pen? <laughs> At first it was to do with the musicians that I wanted to work with. That's the reason I came to New York. I wanted to work with Bootsy Collins and Bernie Worrell. And I wanted to work in their environment and with lots of other New York musicians. I bought you record in New York City. Disco Rama down on Union Square. I must have played it a million times over. I closed my eyes, imagine you were there, you know. I really dig the clothes you wear I only wish you could be my baby I wanna read about it One of the backing vocalists is Lady Miss Kia from Delight and she was singing, you know, with two other girls and between the three of them I got the actual perfect sound that I was looking for I'm just too blind to see Baby, I'm From the gutter I've been here since yesterday Sweet dreams in the gutter All the skeletons come out to play Greetings from the gutter is really uh, like a postcard it's like greetings from the emotional gutter I feel so logical inside This is sort of my first solo album in as much as that all the songs um, are very personal to me and it's coming they're coming from my voice, you know. The Chelsea lovers with guillotine lips, a scar ego. Chelsea Lovers is about <clears throat> when you first meet somebody and you go head over heels and you promise all sorts of things and you know the world seems like this magnificent place that the two of you are gonna conquer in a way. Holes in the mattress where these beasts have lain Awake until morning it's all a jumble, all of my influences, so it comes out like that. I mean, this album, I think, was important to me as a guitar player as well, because I was always sort of hiding my guitar playing, whereas I know I, I am a guitar player and I love playing the guitar, so this is my album, so fuck you. you know? I particularly wanted this uh, backing vocalist that had that kind of New York American sound to their voice. I feel 
fell down on St. Valentine's Day Dropped my flowers in the rain and got carried away The tide was coming in I could have been sad, I could have been amused But I was just in pieces, it was then that I knew The whole song was about when uh, me and a friend of mine, you know, collapsed got tipped to hospital and the whole world, all the colour seemed to be draining out of the world. So uh, I wanted to recreate that. The pattern on the back of my hand, it makes a joke of me. It makes a joke of me. And the veins are like rivers in sand, running out to sea. Jealousy is a, a song that Bootsy Collins, after we'd been working for a while, played me something and he said, uh, listen to this, I think you might like this. And um, it was actually a different title and a different song, but I worked with him on the song and it turned into being a track on the album, which is one of my favorites in as much that it's very lazy groove to it. Jealousy, being a part of me. Jealousy. She can keep loving me. Take me and save me. And be my guide. Sooner or later. Sooner or later. We're all gonna die. Well, Take and Save Me is a song about uh, a friend of mine and about a particular conversation we were having about life in general, and we were very, very drunk. And I wrote it kind of immediately after that. And it was just about his sort of view about life, death, art. And I find it very refreshing and inspiring. Until we disappear. I did try and choose people who wouldn't necessarily play what they're playing on my album. It's very sort of unusual for them to play, like Bootsy Collins playing an acoustic bass, you know, on Oh No, Not You Again. I mean, usually he plays with electric bass. Oh no, not you again. Oh, no, not I paid you again. already too much times ten. Oh no, not you again. Oh, no, I don't know how it started, but this is the end. In the end, you just got to forget about everything and just you know, write about what you really, really feel and try and capture the emotion of the time at the time you're doing it. And hopefully people will share that feeling with you. Oh no, not you again With your childhood religion and your diet coke friends My songs are a biography or a... It is a soundtrack or a backdrop to my life. So some songs are like today and some songs are, you know, about something that happened 20 years ago that I'm still feeling today. <laughs> <laughs>